Welcome to Scraps Kansas City. Let me show you around. Scraps KC is an organization that offers a way for everyone to participate in changing the community through the reuse, repurposing, and renewal of people and things. Businesses, schools, and individuals can donate their unused craft supplies in order to be resold in the store. Sold in the store is a plethora of items including art supplies, cardboard and tubes, fabric and yarn, metals, office supplies, and party goods. They teach many people how to reuse these supplies in order to be environmentally and financially sustainable. They benefit the homeless community by providing them with work to do around the store, and they receive fresh meals and survival items for their efforts. They host community events, including leading Girl Scout troops and organizing sock kits to hand out. You can sign up to volunteer by going on their website, scrapskc.org, and selecting the volunteer tab. They list their current volunteer needs in order for you to get involved and give back to your community and environment. Kansas City and we wanted to talk to you about making sock kits which we have displayed here. Um, so the reason why we're making sock kits is because it's an easy way to give the homeless population the supplies that they need and it's easy to give through the window um, and it's an alternative to giving cash because a lot of people aren't comfortable with that. So yeah, let's get into it. What you'll need to make these sock kits are a pair of long socks, a water bottle, hand sanitizer and Kleenexes, chapstick, and then the next elements depend on the season. So for winter, we usually like to include hands or and or foot warmers. And then for spring, a rain poncho. And then for summer, You'll need some insect repellent, either some wipes or a little mini bottle of spray, and then electrolyte powder, such as Propel or something similar. And the last item you'll need is some peanut butter crackers. The reason why we include a clean pair of socks is because people who are homeless can walk up to 10 miles a day. And then for the peanut butter crackers, um, a lot of people will often include granola bars, but that's harder for people who don't have access to dental care to eat. So um, the peanut butter crackers are nice and soft and they can kind of dissolve in your mouth when you eat them. To make the note that goes at the top of the sock, you're gonna need a small piece of paper or note card that is hole punched in one corner. And then you can take a marker or any writing utensil to write a nice message. Some examples are have a great day, you are loved, any inspirational thing like that. The recipients of the sock kits really enjoy and appreciate those messages. To begin making the sock kits, we are first going to take one of the socks and scrunch it up so that our hand is in the bottom of the sock and it goes all the way up to our arm. And the second sock is going to do the same thing, we're gonna scrunch it onto our arm. So now the two socks have come together to just look like one sock. Now to take it off of our arm, we're just gonna scrunch it down, make sure we're not stretching that sock out because we want these socks to be in good condition when we give them to the homeless population. Then you're gonna take your water bottle, cap side down, and then scrunch your socks so that you're not stretching. And then I'm gonna insert the water bottle and then scrunch it down and I'll show you. You just take your hands and work it down all the way to the end. Now you're gonna take your Kleenex and your hand sanitizer. It's easier if you hold them together and then insert them, and that'll give you an easy base to put everything else onto. As you can see, it took me a little, two tries, but I got it and then I just worked it down the same way I did the water bottle. Once you have those three things in, then you're going to drop your chapstick in, and that one's pretty easy to get in place. And then next up, you're going to grab your seasonal item and your peanut butter crackers. So since it is spring, I grabbed the rain poncho, and I am actually going to fold that in half, um, stack it with the peanut butter crackers, and then put it inside our socks. If it's too hard, like this one was a little bit too difficult to put in together, you can do the seasonal item or peanut butter crackers first and then put the second item in after and just um, stick it side by side. Sometimes you do have to work it a little bit and that's perfectly fine. So once you get everything in your sock and it's all scrunched down, 
you're going to have a little bit of the sock at the top. What you're going to do is attach a note. This one says, have a great day. And you're going to attach it with some ribbon. So what you're going to do is tie a double knot at the top of the socks, like here. So I'm doing one knot and then a second knot. And then before you tie the bow, you're going to take the hole punch note and attach it to one of the ribbon strings. Then tie your bow and your sock kit is all complete. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you have completed sock kits, you can drop them off at Scraps Kansas City in the donation bins, or you can personally distribute them out of your car or when you see someone in need.